track shifts worldwide in near real time and maybe nab a few illegal ones. Everyone's favorite womanizer, Leonardo DiCaprio, is trying to get the public involved in putting fish back into our oceans with a little help from technology. The actor unveiled Global Fishing Watch, the digital brainchild of tech environmentalist group SkyTruth, nonprofit organization Oceana, and Google. The free tool allows people to track fishing activity worldwide in a bid to curb the exploitation of marine life. Here's how it works. When large vessels at sea broadcast radio signals through the automatic identification system, satellites pick up the signals and store them in a database. Global Fishing Watch then analyzes vessel movements to determine the type of ship and fishing gear. Ship positions are delayed by 72 hours, but can be tracked from as far back as January 2012. Information is displayed on an interactive Google Earth map and includes countries' exclusive economic zones and protected areas, as well as the individual records and identities of more than 35,000 fishing boats. With commercial vessel movements exposed to public view, users are able to remotely monitor any ships that could be fishing illegally. The system is far from perfect. Smaller vessels that don't require the use of the Automatic Identification System, or AIS, can't be tracked. And the AIS itself can report false locations when tampered with by a crew trying to mask illegal activities. See a story that really should be animated? Suggest stories to Tomo News Now!